Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 16th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about comparison operators. So the first thing that we need to know is what are comparison operators used for? The comparison operators, as I spoke about them in the last tutorial, they are used to compare data that's present between uh, columns in tables to the data that you specify in the conditions that you put in, you know, in your select queries using the where clause, right? So we're going to see uh, all the comparison operators in action in this tutorial. So I'm going to demonstrate all of them to you. So let's first uh, check out what are uh, the options that we have in SQL. So we've got the equal to operator, which is the single equal to sign. And you use this to check whether, uh, you know, data in columns is the same as what you specify in your uh, where condition or not. And then you've got the not equal to uh, operator that allows you to check whether the data that is present in columns uh, in tables is, uh, you know, not equal to the data that you specify in your uh, conditions. And then you've got the greater than that checks whether the data in columns is greater than what you've specified then you've got the less than operator which checks whether the data that's uh, there in the columns is less than the data that you've specified in the conditions then you've got greater than equal to or less than equal to and, uh, and they're both self-explanatory right so next we're going to check out all these operators uh, in the mysql environment so i've got my mysql workbench here and uh, in the test database i no longer have two tables i have got just one and uh, I removed the EMP underscore info table and I've just got the employee table here. And uh, the employee table too is not the same as uh, the one with which we've been working all along in this course. I've made uh, some modifications to it. I've added, uh, you know, about 15 rows of data to it, right? So we're gonna check out the structure of the table first using the DESC command. And uh, I'll type in DESC employee a semicolon in the control enter that would give me the structure so these are the fields that i have in the table currently the id field name field age email and salary field so i no longer have the dob field i have uh, changed that to age and it's also not of date type it's of uh, integer type so it will be holding numeric values and uh, whole values not fractional values right so you would see ages as 21 22 24 not as 22.5 or 23.6 right and uh, the id field is the primary key for the table and the name field as well as the email field both these fields are of uh, variable character type while the salary field is of uh, decimal type it can hold a maximum of 10 digits and uh, it can have two values after the decimal point right so this is the structure of the table next we're going to check out the data that's there in the table using the select statement so i'll type in select space the asterisk symbol because i want to see data for all fields and then the name uh, of the table after the from keyword so from employee i'll put in a semicolon and when i press control enter you see that i've got a lot of data in this table and uh, the id value starts from uh, 1900 1900 and uh, it you know goes from 1900 to 1914 right so in total there are 15 rows in the table and uh, the age as i said you know the age field is going to have num numeric values only right so you have 22 for john and 24 for peter and 29 for howard 25 for uh, nick so on and uh, the salary field uh, where i've just picked uh, you know five digit salaries so these are random values these have got nothing to do with uh, you know anything in particular so you got 16,500 for uh, Roger and you've got 34,000 for Shane, right? And the email address field uh, is also there that has the email addresses. So now we're gonna see how we can use the comparison operator to obtain data, you know, that we need, right? So in case you want to have any particular condition in your select statement, right? So when we execute the select start from employee table, we get all the rows that are there in the, in the table. Suppose we want rows, uh, you know, that obey a particular condition. Like we want to see names of all the people who have age greater than 25, or we want to see, you know, IDs of people uh, that have salary less than 25,000 right or uh, if you want to see you know how many people in total have uh, you know uh, age greater than um, 28 right so if you want to see that kind of data then you need to use uh, your comparison operators and these are also known as relational operators in the uh, programming terminology and uh, let's check all of them one by one
So the first query that I'm going to execute is to find out the you know values of all fields for uh, records for which the value of salary is less than 15,000, right? So to do that, I'll type in the keyword select first, right? And then I'll put in the asterisk symbol because I want to see values in all columns and then the name of the table after the from keyword. So I'll type in employee and then I'm going to type in a keyword where, right? So this is a where clause and we haven't spoken about it really in this uh, course thus far and I'll be you know probably recording one tutorial just for the where clause in, in the near future but you know for the time being just know that you use the where clause to put in conditions in your uh, select query right so after the where keyword I, I'll give a space and then I'll type in my condition so I want the salary to be less than 15,000 I'll put in a semicolon at the end and when I press control enter in the results set, I don't get 15 rows anymore, right? So I get uh, rows with ID 1900, 1901, 1904, and 1910. So in total, there are four rows in the table that satisfy this condition of salary less than 15,000. And John has a salary of 12,500, and Peter has a salary of 13,800. Stan and Philip do have salaries less than 15,000, right? So you can verify that the data that you've obtained is correct, satisfies the condition right so the next operator that we're going to check out is the greater than operator in this case we'll find out the number of records that have uh, the value of salary greater than 15,000 right so I'll just have to make one modification to this query I'll change the less than operator to the greater than operator right that's all I need to do I'll press control enter and this time well I get more records obviously because there were 15 in total so if four had values less than 15,000 then the rest 11 need to have values greater than 15,000 so you can check for each record the value of salary would be greater than 15,000 right 25,000 31,200 16,500 and so on and so forth so these are the you know operators that you use to compare values and that's why they're called comparison operators and uh, we're also going to check out the other ones which are the equal to Operator. So if you want to find out, you know, which employee has salary, let's say equal to 29,200. So I'll change this to 29,200 and I'll press control enter. And there you go. You see that Michael, who has the ID 1907 and age 21, has the value of salary 29,200, right? So salary for Michael is 29,200. That's why you get, uh, you know, this record in the result set. And uh, if you want to check which employees do not have this salary, then you replace the equal to operator by the not equal to operator, which is the less than and the greater than sim symbol combined together. So when you press the control enter, now you see that you would get all records except Michael. So Michael won't be present in the results set. You can verify that, right? 1900 row with ID 1907 is not there in the results set. So you've got 906 for Dave and then 908 for Shane. And uh, next, if you want to check out, you know, how many, how many or what all employees have, uh, we're going to talk about how many, you know, fi finding out how many records satisfy a particular condition when we talk about aggregate functions later on. So at the moment, let's just, you know, uh, concentrate on getting records and then finding how many records we've got. That's something that we'll deal with later on. So if you want to check out, uh, you know, the records that have salary, you know, less than or equal to, uh, 29,500, uh, 29,200 that is. So you put in the equal to operator there and uh, you run the query and there you go. This time you would see that Michael would also figure in the results set, right? And all the employees that have salaries greater than 29,200 would not be there, right? So only employees that have this salary or employees that do not have the salary but lesser values would uh, appear in the results set. And uh, you know, now we're going to work with the age column, right? And you can also work with the, uh, you know, character fields if you want to. So if you want to see the salary of, uh, you know, John, then all you have to do is replace the asterisk symbol here with the, uh, you know, um, salary and uh, type in the name field here and then the condition. And since, uh, you know, name is a character field, you'll have to put in your value in single quotes, right? So if you want to check the value of salary for John, you put in John within single quotes, press control, enter it. There you go. You see that the salary for John is 12,500, right? And uh, we're also going to, you know, run a query for the 
greater than uh, equal to operator and uh, again I'll put an asterisk here and I'm going to find out you know values for all fields for uh, all employees that have age greater than or equal to let's say 24 right so all these employees have age greater than 24 Howard and Peter and Nick Stan Roger Dave Shane and there are some records that are missing so you don't have a continuum there as you can see Michael is not there in the list and uh, then you know someone else is also not there in the list because the row with ID 1910 is missing and the row with ID 1914 is also missing so these are the things that you can do with the comparison operators and uh, they're re really useful and we'll be using them too quite a lot in the coming tutorials and I hope you guys had fun watching this one please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and I'll see you soon